meanwhile, the Democratic side is as lonely as the Republican is crowded. Right. Where do you think Hillary Clinton comes down on announcing her run? The next couple of weeks. Right now, look, the Republicans are running in a field of 13 or 14. She's running against herself, and right now, she's kind of losing. She's doing well in the polls, but all these questions about her emails, about whether she should face a, a nomination fight, means that Democrats are worried. They're putting all their chips on one horse, Hillary Clinton. And if she ends up having problems now, they're saying, Maybe she should be tested now by a Democrat rather than risk sending her into a general election without having had debates and the kind of scrutiny you get when you have a contested fight. All right, that's Mark Halpern. He's no conservative, that's for sure. And joining us now is a man that you all know. We welcome back, uh, welcome, welcome back, Webb Hubble, Webster Hubble, author of When Men Betray and author of Ginger Snaps. He's also the former mayor of uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, hello, sir. Hello, how are you doing? Good to talk to you again. I, I, is it nice to be introduced also as an author? It is, it is. I'm enjoying myself thoroughly. I really am. Well, that's good. I know we, we talked about When Men Betray. I don't know if we had John for the uh, the Ginger Snaps. Give us a quick synopsis uh, about uh, Ginger uh, Snaps. Ginger Snaps is a sequel to the first. There you go. And uh, once again, Jack Patterson, who's the protagonist, returns to Little Rock this time a world-renowned chemist is growing marijuana in his backyard. And Jack's <laughs> come to see what's going on. Well, you know, it's uh, the, 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 I, I did read the first one, uh, When Men Betray. It was very exciting. So now I'll I'll pick this up and look forward to seeing that one. You're going to love Ginger Snaps. And reading that one as well. Book. Yeah, no, good. I'm glad. All right, so let, let's talk about You heard what um, Mark Halpern said in that uh, bite leading into this. Um, yeah. Is Hillary right now running against herself and doing a bad job? She's not running yet. I mean, there's no reason to hurry. Uh, nobody else is on the Democratic side has is, is really come forward. And I don't know what the rush is. You know, her husband, when she he ran for president, didn't even announce till the fall. And I don't know what everybody's so excited about. Okay, well, what about the, the problems? I mean, you know, by all accounts, and, and well, let me ask you your evaluation. She had a bad book tour, I would say. I'm interested to hear what you say. <laughs> she sold a lot of books. I well, wish I had a bad book okay, tour. Okay, but, but, but she, she's, she, does she appear comfortable to you? Does, did she appear comfortable? Let's, let's take the press conference on the emails. It, did you think she did a good job there? No, I, good job or bad job, she was in, in the wrong place to be announcing something, discussing that. Uh, you know, we all get caught sometimes in places where we don't want to be and answering questions we're not ready to answer. The real truth is that she needs to back off and quit having everybody push her into announcing her candidacy before it's, it's time to do it. So you're saying that, that she was, you think that she was given bad advice and pushed into that press conference at the U.N.? It should have yeah, been held somewhere I else? Yeah, I think, I think it should have been somewhere else at a, at a different time. Uh, where she could be, you know, she's not just being hit with questions. Uh, and before she knows all the facts, everybody knew, and, and you knew, any, for the last six years, she's been using the same email. Nobody can say they didn't know. Well, the pre well, well uh, Webb, Webb, the president said he didn't know until we all found out in the news. Uh, well, then he's not reading his email. You know, I send you an email, and it says, Webb, bubble with Gmail. Okay? Yeah. You send me an email and it says whatever. <laughs> so don't tell me that nobody knew where she was sending her email from. That's just horse hockey. All right, but, but let's say everybody knew. Does that make it right? Well, it, nobody complained for six years. Well, I mean, that, that, that's a point, but maybe, you know, maybe they figure, look, who's going to complain? But that's, a, that's another question. In other yeah. words, in other words, may, you know, there were, there were no... You know, the real yeah. truth is, yeah. what's going to happen is, hopefully, next year, people are going to talk about what's important to the American people, which is a deteriorating infrastructure, and 25% and of our children are on food stamps. Now, let's talk about those issues. Let's not talk about anything. But, you know, Webb, you come from, I mean, you know, and with all due respect, and I love having you on the show, and I hope you'll keep coming, but, you know, people always say, ah, oh, whitewater, nothing happened. You went to jail, and other people got in big trouble and went to jail, too. So I, right. I'm just saying there's this aura that seems to surround the Clintons, that there's one set of rules for the Clintons, they're above the law, and things don't apply to them. I mean, would you not agree with that? 
you know, they spent $70 million trying to prove that Hillary broke the law, and they didn't find a thing. So, yeah, there's this aura, but who's creating the aura? You don't think it's Hillary and the Clintons? No, I think it's those who don't want Hillary or the Clintons back in office. What about the signing document? You know, she even went so far, she spoke before a bunch of journalists the other night, and she made a joke about it, uh, saying, uh, look under your seats, uh, my lawyer tells me there's a document that you have to sign uh, on the way out. <laughs> but, but, but that, you know, it's funny, but it's not funny because she never answered the question, did she sign it or not? All we've heard from the State Department is, we have no record of it. If she signed it, it's perjury. I mean, is it the right time so close to it while no one knows what happened to be joking about it? Well, I don't know what happened, and you don't know what happened. But she knows. But Why doesn't she tell us? Well, if you're leaving the office and going to work somewhere else, and somebody hands you about 30 pieces of paper to sign, do you really remember what you signed or what you didn't sign? And the real question is, who was her exit in a reorder? Okay, and we all have them. And what did he have her sign, or she having signed, and what didn't she have her sign? I don't think Hillary can answer the question. Somebody at the State Department needs to answer that question. Okay. All right, so you think she'll, she will announce, you think it'll be later rather than sooner, or you think it should well, be, right? she's not asking me. Right, okay. no, no, but I'm asking what you think, yeah. I think she should wait. She should. I think... I, I don't think we've got too many other issues, uh, and we don't need to get into the campaign mode two years ahead of time. I don't think the American people care a damn about who's running right now. Right. Uh, you know, I think they're more worried about their paychecks and their, how to get food on the table. All right, folks, uh, Webb, really appreciate you coming on and your honesty and willingness to talk about all this. The book, the follow-up to When Men Betray, is Ginger Snaps by uh, Webster Hubble, author Webster Hubble. Good to talk to you, sir. We'll speak to you again. Good to talk to you. Have a good day. You too. Good Take care. Charlotte. Take care. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, very, very interesting. And, um, you know, he has, he has a certain insight. He may not be in contact with her talking or getting, giving advice or getting uh, questions, but... He certainly knows the woman, and it's interesting to hear what he has to say. All right, we're coming back with the Molesburg panel. We'll hear what they have to say. Don't go away.